I was both watching Shane's video for entertainment and to see his interaction with somebody else, but I was also taking tips because What I also love about Shane Dawson is his urge to want to help people. You know, not only the fact that, oh, I saw that her channel was dying, so I wanted to help her. And it doesn't seem like it was a case where it's like, oh, I want to get the recognition for helping her to revive her channel. It just seemed like this is somebody who he's been watching for years and if this is an opportunity to help then of course he's going to want to do that because these are people who you've been watching for so long and who have been so relatable to you which is amazing i always say i like the people who i like watching i like when i feel like their videos are so relatable it's not it doesn't seem like it's something scripted where it's just like oh this is so scripted it's not even relatable or anything shane was giving her some some tips on like okay based on this thumbnail i'd either click on the video or skip the video and when making my videos i've thought about that stuff before i'm like okay so the thumbnail needs to be catchy for somebody to even want to click on it but at the same rate i still want it to be part of the vlog because that's what i like seeing too i like seeing when the thumbnail <laughs> my macbook is going off i like seeing when the thumbnail is like apart from the vlog. I don't like feeling like this was such a photoshopped thumbnail and it has absolutely nothing to do with the vlog. So he gave her some like real good tips that other persons can use too, especially other persons who like are YouTubers or who make videos or whatever. Cause I don't consider myself a YouTuber because I just feel like my channel isn't like big enough to be like oh i'm a youtuber or whatever i don't even know what how to describe being a youtuber and also it's not like i make money from youtube like everybody else you know and i was watching someone else talk about the same shane dawson situation yesterday and she was like you know you know you have a passion for making videos when it's not even about the money and she was saying how you know they've been going through stuff in their relationship and it's just like they didn't put it out there and you know how there are some things that you could put out there just to get money off of it or whatever and you just don't choose to do that because at the end of the day when you put the camera down your personal life is still there you still have to live your life and how shitty are you gonna feel if you put something out there that your partner's not comfortable with and then you end up looking stupid because your relationship is in shambles after you just put all of this out there for like the views or whatever and it just, this all goes back down to like the people who do youtube for the money and they don't genuinely want to share their lives with other people or they're not trying to help somebody go through something that they were going through which is all of what shane was talking about in the video anyways if you guys haven't watched the shane dawson video i will link it down below so you guys can watch it because it was very informative and it was a very good video so i left early and i still got home at seven o'clock i'm so mad just because there's like a detour the buses are acting crazy so one bus took almost an hour and so did the next one and then i decided to go like put some money on my metro card and stuff but i didn't really vlog a lot today just because i was so busy but um, i'm home and i'm starving tomorrow and I've been working on this vlog of 
last weekend when babe and i went to connecticut it was so much fun and he decided to go play some soccer and oh my gosh afterwards did he feel it because of course when you haven't worked out and you play a 90 minute game of soccer or however long the game lasts you are gonna be in shambles like the day after and i kind of anticipated it so i was like listen tomorrow he is not gonna feel so hot and the day after he was like oh my gosh i don't feel too good and i'm like i know just try to keep moving to you know make it feel better um i have my satin scarf on and whatever but y'all know that when i have it on i'm laying my hair so that's what's up it is thursday morning and i'm kind of excited that it's thursday um you know fridays are my favorite days but um we're one day closer to friday so i'm just like yes i'm excited what do i have on the agenda for today yesterday i spent a hot minute at the park which was amazing it was a nice cool day out to be at the park so probably gonna do that again today i'm not really sure i have this class to go to at 11 45 that lasts 45 minutes so it's 11 45 to 12 30 and then i may go to the park afterwards i'm not really sure but even so i'm trying to like finish up this edit but if i'm not done it's whatever because i feel like i've kind of decided that i'm gonna only upload on like monday wednesdays and fridays and probably one on the weekend either saturday or sunday i'm not really sure because i was watching shane dawson's video where he was interviewing this youtuber who she said like her channel is dying and you know everybody's saying like she had like a huge platform i'm gonna insert shane's thumbnail here so you guys can see it so if you haven't watched the video you can watch it and when shane was talking to her he was like um you know don't upload every day like he was basically saying that's probably what you're doing wrong you're not supposed to upload every day or whatever because she was saying like she thought she should be uploading every day and i kind of thought i should be uploading every day too in efforts for my channel to grow but i'm gonna try not uploading every single day but like every other day just to see how that works and still to like document my life and um create memories basically because that's the whole purpose of my channel but of course you want your channel to grow too so i'm gonna try doing that and to see how that works my home girl is up and if that doesn't work out any better then i'm either gonna go back to daily uploads or just do that instead i'm not really sure but um i still want to like maintain short enough videos but if i'm not going to be putting out every day i may double the time so what would normally be like a four minute video will be an eight minute video or whatever so I was both watching Shane's video for entertainment and to see his interaction with somebody else, but I was also taking tips because he gave her some good tips and it was a good video overall. I enjoyed it. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what's up. 9.30, I wanted to pop in and pop right back out. My homegirl is up, so I gotta go tend to her right now. And um, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to leave the rest of this editing for later. My MacBook is dying anyways. It's telling me right now that I literally have like 3%. I was looking at the date. But um, yeah, the video is so funny. So you guys look out for that one. It's literally so funny, at least the parts where he's playing soccer. And this is why grown men should not play soccer. If it's not something you do every day. Anyways, talk to y'all later. So I was sitting down and... um. I was just like, you know how sometimes you go through some stuff and it makes you realize that, that people will literally take advantage of you if you allow them or if you give them the slightest idea that you are like a fool or whatever. People will full on just use you, wash you and wring you dry and still try to use you again. It's so ridiculous. And it's like, Sometimes you didn't even realize. And I mean, initially, how people are does not just show like that. It takes a while for how they are to like seep through or to like start showing. And when you realize, it's just like, wow, the things you do. And sometimes people don't realize too how much they really say and how much they say can be the thing that ends up incriminating them. And you're just like, oh my gosh, like nobody even had to tell me that. You did it all on your own. Sometimes you go through some real life situations and people don't even notice that, you know, 
you're going through that or you've been through so much and it's just like everybody has a story and oh my gosh when it's time to tell mine people are gonna be like wow anyways that happened <laughs> so um i'm gonna go get some stuff done